If you like J-pop, J-rock, weep music, anime soundtrack, I need to recommend you this IEM from C Audio Neko. Yes, 6BA IEM. And a little bit of that background story, C Audio, a company that has a lot of fan base in Japan. Why? Because the previous releases, all of them are named in Japanese as well as the tuning as well matches a lot of that J-pop, J-rock genre. So that's why they have a lot of fan base over there. So they have Kaguya, which is their flagship, also Neo, Yume as well, which a lot of you should already be uh, are very familiar with. So now they came out with an IM called Neko. Okay, so Neko is basically cat. Okay, if you translate it from Japanese, it's a very, very good IM. And why do I say that it matches uh, the J-pop or the Japanese flavor very, very well because of the tuning. Okay, so my review will be based, I will give it a little bit more praises than usual or compared to any other people out there because I myself listen to J-pop. This IM is just like built for me, that kind of feeling because I really like this IM uh, tuning wise and also it suits my genre very, very, very well. Okay, so first off, let's talk about the build and the shell. The build quality on this, I would say, let's start off with the shell. The shell is super ultra comfortable, okay? Comfortable is no longer a word that can just describe it, okay? I just hope that there are more words, okay, that can let you guys feel that is how comfortable it is. It's, I would say, ultra extreme, yeah, because it is very ergonomically built and it's not big, okay? It's not big. I would say that it's medium, or even slightly tilt toward medium small as well. So is the shape is the same like the C Audio Neo and also I would think that you may might be around the same shape as well. So it's a very, very comfortable IM to wear despite it having 6BA. Yes, I would say that this is equivalent, comparable to like the Duno SS6, TA Audio Oracle, like all these IM are very, very comfortable I, I mean, IM to wear. This is no exception and the faceplate faceplate this faceplate uh, a lot of you or uh, a lot of the fans uh, when they saw the pictures that was released they thought that this might be something like the Kumitate Radon kind of uh, design but it is not okay it's not but still I like it okay why because it's not like a lot of the IEM out there nowadays which is using a carbon fiber faceplate which is very easily accessible and or, or some IEM with some gold flakes which is uh, nowadays is kind, kind of boring yeah so this time around they're using a uh, flower design and it's quite nice okay it really quite nice although not the kumitate kind of flavor but still very nice and not to mention that this time around they have collab with effect audio so they are using the effect audio Cadmus cable as their stock cable and i would think that uh, it's a good and bad touch okay how how do i say that because this IM is selling around like 700 us dollar okay with inclusive of the effect audio Cadmus. so price wise it is not super competitive i would say because in this price point you have a lot a lot of choices okay with the similar uh configurations so uh, a lot of people are also asking in the forum itself say do we have the choice of um, excluding okay not taking this im together with the effect audio Cadmus as an option when you buy it so they can cut down a little bit of that price but sadly no yeah sadly no so but still Effect Audio Cadmus is a very nice cable that it has very nice texture, very nice build. Okay, so I have no complaint. But for those of you, if you really wanted to like cut down the price of buying this, okay, so you might consider of maybe selling your Cadmus cable, which is easily uh, a lot of people will, will don't mind getting it if you price it very nicely because it's quite new, okay, and it's built quite nice from a reputable company. So maybe I would guess that after you sell this cable, maybe you can get this IEM for maybe $600 or, or maybe $550, which is a very, very competitive price. Okay, so like it or not, okay, it has a very nice cable that came with it. Okay, so 
Effect audio cable, of course, no complaint. And the build quality, the splitter, the jack, everything is nice and it's quite easy to handle. So that's all for the build quality. Okay, it's comfy, cable is good, everything is nice. Face plate is, of course, I would say special or new to us. So that's all for the build. And let's talk about the sound. So this I am, like I said, why does it suit uh, J-pop, J-rock, with music, anime soundtrack a lot, okay? Because of that tuning. It's tuned towards warm. Yeah, it's surprisingly warm. It's warm and also the vocals, okay? Both male and female vocal came out a lot, stand out a lot. It's very forward sounding. That's why it's kind of my taste because everything is just whispering next to your ear kind. So that's why, and a lot of you who like like Japanese music, you know, anime soundtrack, uh, usually female vocals like Yoshika, like Lisa, Aimum. So all of them have, I mean, very nice sound. And then also there, is, uh, there are a lot of electronic guitars going on in the music. And that's why I think that this I am actually tuned very nicely uh, to that kind of genre. Yeah. And first of all, let's talk about the bass. The bass here, is I would say lacking. Yeah, lacking. Not that it's flat or it's roll off that kind of zero bass or negative five kind of bass. Just that I just hope that there is a little bit more. Okay, just a tinge more. But of course this BA bass as well. So you won't be getting a lot, a lot of bass punch and a lot of rumble from the bass from the neckle. So uh, for those of you who are used to listen to J-pop or J-rock with music that you don't need a lot of bass okay so that's why and a lot of people that already gotten this unit uh, said that they are disappointed with this set and all but depends on the music that you're listening to like for example if you are using this set to go and listen to some western um, songs okay some billboard song then of course you won't get the best out of it okay because you're listening to the wrong genre using the wrong IM not wrong genre, just wrong iron. Okay, so let's go to the mids. The mids here is, I would say, mm, nice. How to say? Because it has, it's very thick sounding. Yeah, male vocal has that, uh, thanks to the warm that was given and the note, the thick notes that this iron has sounded to me very, I would say, emotional. And also, female vocal stand out a lot. Okay, just like in front of you, kind. And it's not, in that forcefully way okay it just felt to me very natural and their sound is just i would say angelic okay uh words that i would use to pro uh describe how uh, the diva the elysian diva sounds in terms of vocal angelic yeah it's very nice so also electronic guitars everything in the upper mid range just mm, nice okay just very nice not too much nor is it too flat okay too flat as in like afro performer uh p8 the kind of safeness okay it's not that safe okay it's there okay it's there so next let's talk about technicalities and treble okay so this is the part where this i am is a little bit lacking of okay i need to although i like this i am very very much but i need to be frank that this is the part that this i am can doesn't nail it too much okay but it's good and bad okay that's good and bad so first of all it don't have that very wide sound stage nor does it have very deep kind of feeling of depth in the sound so and then imaging is not the strongest point of this im as well so imaging and sound stage is just i would say average okay average and detail retrieval on this uh, because of everything was being brought so forward so macro nuances you still will be able to catch it quite easily because everything are there in front of you but for small little nuances small little minute uh, changes in the in the notes or like uh, happenings in the recording room i mean you can't get every single bit of it or those small small little things right so these are the uh, the flaws of this imm but why is it not like bad okay just entirely just bad because j-pop all right is so chaotic in the background 
so many things going on if you are using a very very resolving IM to listen to to J-pop, J-rock, rip music, anime soundtrack you might be I would say fatigued you might be tired of that information overload like for example you use the the Mass Smart 2 to listen to like anime soundtrack for like two hours that would be tiring yeah yes. I have used the uh, Anoli VX to listen to all my genres during uh, last year during my whole Australia trip and it was yeah not good the experience is not very good hence I think that J-pop, J-rock, anime music with music don't need that many detail yeah but of course if you are a person that likes that then uh, not stopping you you have other choices okay later I'll talk about it during the comparison so I think this I am just uh, matches like those people that like those this kind of genre because you don't need a lot of those and sound staging and that something that can't be helped because it's a 6PA and this everything is being so forward sounding that's why the sound stage you won't get the most out of it okay so it's a trade-off it's a trade-off so i'm saying uh good and bad okay good and bad as if is don't have the best bass don't have the best technicalities but why still i like it very much because if i were to be given few choices okay when i were to listen to j-pop the uh, unique melody mass 2 vs this okay unique melody mass 2 have better bass okay a lot of better bass okay sub bass is good on that detail retrieval is supreme on the mass 2 as well but compared to this okay compared to this i would take this okay no doubt okay zero uh no need to think okay i will just get it straight away i will use the nickel so let's do some comparison so you have uh a reference point of well, what this IM can do. So first of all, of course, I will compare with the, one of the recent IM that I review, which is uh, the Night Oblivion Stato. Okay, a mouthful of word. Okay, so that IM, I give it a very high price. It's a 10 BA IM that is selling at a very, very competitive price, where it's even cheaper than this. Yeah, so wow, 10 BA somehow. That IM, if you turn on the base, you have good bass okay it has the bass that you guys like about and also it has very forward sounding vocal mm. and it has also very good detail retrieval in fact it's very nice okay you have that detail retrieval but it lack that warm that this IEM have okay a word that also associate with musicalities so one IEM being that is good in every way and this IM is lacking in all sort of way but in terms of musicalities and the genres that I'm about to listen to I might pick the Neko over the Butasto but for everything else okay I will pick the Butasto okay because Western music it can also play uh, your J-pop music quite well but if Neko is on site well why not just go with Neko man just go with Neko straight away and next let's do a comparison with um, SA6 do you know SA6 uh, we talk about the Mark II later SA6 has a very very similar tuning to this I uh, yeah, because it also don't have the best bass okay so talking I'm talking about the stock mood it don't have a very bassy a very punchy very uh, rumble kind of bass okay so uh, things that people uh, don't like about that do you know uh, SA6 but the vocal and everything else is quite similar just that this is being a little bit more forward okay just imagine that this is something like SA6 okay just that the vocal are brought forward to you okay both are 6PA okay so a lot of them have a lot of similarities but SA6 I believe that have a little bit slightly a little bit better of uh, detailed retrieval or the sound staging but I would say that the comparison is very very minor okay just very minor just find that both of them have a lot of similarities so you guys who are using Duno SS6 and you haven't upgraded your gear yet and you like your vocal to be a, a little bit forward this is it okay this is it and also again this has more warm to, to the music itself so SS6 is just to me linear 
Okay, let's talk about the SA6 Mark II comparison. SA6 Mark II have a lot of bass. I think out of the comparison that I was about to say, it has the most bass. Okay, SA6 Mark II has too much bass. Definitely not for J-pop with music, okay, anime soundtrack. You don't need all those, okay. I would prefer something a little bit cleaner. So you don't need that. And the treble on the Mark II, for me, I'm okay, okay. It's not that it's spiky or it's, uh, it's shouty or anyway, just that it's too much, okay, for J-pop, okay. It's, J-pop is so chaotic. You don't need that much of treble, okay, for long-term listening session. Two hours straight, wow, who can take that? So um, I would still prefer the, the OG, the Mark II is just a little bit too much, but Mark II, I believe it suits a lot of other genres, maybe something from the billboard or what, it has more fun, okay, more fun factor than OGs, hence that's why I see why a lot of people are uh, loving that. And the shell size, okay, of the Mark II is quite big, quite gigantic, okay, although I have no issue fitting it, but I will, fit, I will wear this all day, okay, I can wear this for 10 hours of flight, no problem on the Neko. But SS6 Mark II, hmm, questionable. I never tried, but it's questionable. So, uh, some comparison like the RSV as well, because it's 5 VA in the around the same price point. RSV is just like the eldest brother in the family, where it is very good in a lot of ways, but not the best. Okay, it has very good bass that don't feel to me like a BA and vocal not too overly forward nor is it too linear like the SS6 OG and detail retrieval everything is just to me good okay better than average okay but to me it's 5BA and is I would say one of the safest choice that you can get in this price point but it's it's not something that uh, that stand out okay that's a lot just like the eldest brother in the family okay it's just there being there, matured, steady, okay, composed, okay, so that's what I think of uh, as the RSV. Compared to this and the RSV, RSV can play more music, okay, it's more versatile, can suit a lot, a lot, a lot of other genres, and you can't find something that you hate about the RSV. So, comparison wise, uh, for J pop, which one would you pick? Me, being a little bit biased, because I love the audio, so I would take the Neko. Yeah, even though despite all the things that I mentioned. So um, that's all for all the comparison. And of course, there are a lot more other comparison that you can, you guys can get. Just comment down below. I will try my very best to reply to all of you. If I own the unit, I tried the unit, or I can manage to get one myself. So comment down below if you guys are curious. And also, if you guys want something a little bit step out from this IEM, okay, uh, I have to mention this again, although I already mentioned this a lot of time in my other reviews, okay, if you want something a little bit better, okay, flaws that this IEM have and you want it to be to be uh, soft, okay, get the C Audio Neo, simple, okay, it's, this is 6BA, that one is 10BA, and during 11.11, usually like last year, the price will drop to 800 plus. All right, so it's only $100 more expensive than this. So 6BA vs 10BA, well, you get that. End of story, you get yourself a flagship IEM. So yeah, that's all my comparison for today and hope you guys like it. More stuff will be coming in very, very soon. So see you guys, bye-bye.